Hi, good morning. I'm Shelley at Inmo Investments, and today we want to discuss one of the questions that we get asked the most, which is, why isn't my property selling? There are a number of reasons why the property isn't moving on the market. Uh, we've chosen our top five here to discuss today briefly. The first one being market conditions. Now, of course, the market has to be right for your property to sell. We do appreciate, and we don't want to get into this too much, that the Brexit is having quite an effect on the British market, as is the exchange rate uh, with the, the GBP. Now, there are other markets that are in a little bit of a recession, such as Germany, that does have an effect. Um, so you have to remember that if the market conditions aren't right, your property may sit on the market a little more than it would do in a buoyant market. Okay, so the second point that we want to discuss would be the marketing and exposure. It's absolutely paramount that you have a good marketing strategy and a good exposure for your property. If you're not showcased throughout portals, throughout the world, throughout Europe, how are you going to generate leads? How are you going to generate interest? And how are you going to generate the most important thing, which is viewings? One of the most important points that we feel is presentation of your property. Now, everybody likes to think that their property is unique and special, and we do appreciate that to you it is. But sometimes a little clutter, um, a little too much heavy furniture, people can't see past that. So it's always better to try and depersonalize your property before considering marketing it. The same with curb appeal. It's really important to make sure that the outside looks fresh, natural, and looks appealing to people. First impressions count always and if you're not getting that right you're not going to get the right buyer and the fourth point we want to mention is quite a tricky one and that is a specific issue that your property has now it could be that you're on a busy main road it could be that you're facing something a structure that is not so appealing now these are things that we can't change but there are certain elements that can be changed Again, we're going back to the decluttering, depersonalizing, trying to make your home as appealing to a wide range of potential buyers as possible. And one of the ways that we can work around this is looking at feedback from viewings, listening to your agent, listening to ourselves if we're marketing the property for you, getting feedback from the viewings. It's absolutely paramount. If we know that there's a certain issue that is making your home less appealing, we can then work together with you to try and make it so that it's more appealing. As mentioned before, there are certain things that we cannot change. We cannot change the position, the location of your property, but we can work with you to try and implement all the best tools that we have at our disposal to make the property more saleable. All roads lead back to Rome. And the most important issue here is price. Now, all of the factors that we've mentioned before have an influence on price. There is always the one person for your property, but it always has to be at the right price. If your property is overpriced on the market in comparison to similar properties, either in the neighborhood, the type, the area, etc., then we need to look at addressing the price issue. Also, again, listening to feedback from viewings as to comparisons with other properties, it's absolutely important. So, as mentioned, there's always a person for your property, there's always a buyer for your property, but it will always come back down to price. If you're considering marketing your property here in Spain, we would be delighted to assist you. We'd be delighted to go through all the points, all the negatives, all the good things and the bad things that your property may have and discuss them with you and put in a proper marketing strategy to help you sell your home.